right, hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Sports Trivia with the Snowman. Today we have 30 basketball questions as well as a final category a la Jeopardy style. So please feel free to play along. Uh, you know, keep track of your score, leave a comment, let me know how you fared. But uh, yeah, let's have some fun basketball trivia. And here are our six categories. Which franchise? Jersey numbers. I'll give you a player. You have to tell me their jersey number. 50-point games, the 1980s, super fans. You'll be given a celebrity super fan, and you got to tell me which team they root for. And finally, number one draft picks. So we'll start off with which franchise. Let's go to the $200 clue. They ended a 40-year title drought by splashing their way to a championship in 2015. And that would be Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. All right, which franchise for 400? This relatively young franchise has never played in the NBA Finals. The furthest they got was the Conference Finals in 2016. And they lost to LeBron's Cavs that year. That is the Toronto Raptors. All right, which franchise for 600? This franchise has enjoyed the least amount of playoff success with just 18 postseason wins all time. The Minnesota Timberwolves, your answer there. Now to 800, which franchise? The first franchise to ever win a playoff series as an eight seed, they upended the 63-win Supersonics. Now it was back in 1994, the Denver Nuggets. Now to the $1,000 question. Despite missing the playoffs every year since 2010, this team still has the seventh highest winning percentage of all time. And the correct answer there, the Phoenix Suns. All right, moving on to our second category now. Let's go to jersey numbers. All right, and for 200, Larry Bird. Bird's number 33, and that's been a pretty popular number throughout NBA history. The likes of Kareem, Scottie Pippen, Pat Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, many greats have done that number. But let's move on to jersey number for 400, Sean Kemp. His number 40, moving on to the next jersey number question, Mavericks rookie Luka Doncic. And it's not a very popular number, 77. Moving on, jersey numbers for 800, Larry Johnson. And Johnson's number back when he played number two. Finally, jersey number for 1,000, Carlos Boozer. Boozer, my guy from the Utah Jazz, he repped the number five, all right? Moving on to our next category. This is a good one, 50-point games. And we'll start off with this clue. With the most 50-point games of all time, he cared about scoring on the court as much as he cared about scoring with the ladies. And that's Wilt Chamberlain, 118 50-point games of all time. The next closest, MJ with 31. So the stilt leaps and bounds above everyone else. Let's go to 50-point games for 400. One of the oldest players to ever score 50 in a game. This two-time MVP delivered a 56-point masterclass at age 34. Answer there, the mailman Carl Malone. Moving on to 50-point games for 600. When Charlotte's Kemba Walker poured in 52 points in 2016, this franchise became the only team to never have a 50-point scorer. And that's the Memphis slash Vancouver Grizzlies. Next question. Only two active players are in the top 10 for most career 50-point outings, LeBron and this former MVP. No, it's not Kevin Durant, not Steph Curry, not Russell Westbrook, but James Harden. He's got nine career 50-point games. Our final clue in this category now. Just one NBA game has ever featured opponents who each dropped 50-plus. Back in 2000, it was Kobe and this Warrior. The ex-Tar Heel Antoine Jameson. Next category now, the 1980s. 
$200 clue with five titles in the 80s. This magical dynasty was the toast of the golden era of basketball. This is just a, a nice easy one to ease you into this category. That is, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers, now to 400. Despite making zero threes this season, this Hall of Famer hit the trifecta in 1983 as he won the MVP, Finals MVP, and NBA title. That's the late great chairman of the boards, Moses Malone. All right, 1980s for 600. The Swan Song Finals MVP of the decade, this player would later pick up another NBA ring as an executive. How about Joe Dumars, who's got three titles in total with the Detroit Pistons? 800, the Finals MVP in 1981, only Wes Unseld has a lower career points per game average among Finals MVPs. That's the Celtics' Cedric Maxwell with a 12.5 career points per game average. Now to the final clue. An offensive machine, he won the scoring title in 81 and 84 before entering the Hall of Fame in 2008. And that's the stud Adrian Dantley. All right, moving on now to our fifth category, super fans. Drake. If you don't know this one, I don't know where you've been the last handful of years, but that is the Toronto Raptors. Super fans for 400. Justin Timberlake. And Timberlake, a lover of the Memphis Grizzlies. Moving on to super fans for 600. Usher. Usher was very happy in 2016 because the Cleveland Cavaliers won the title that year. That's the team he's a super fan of. Next question, Fred Armisen. And that's the Portlandia star. He's a big fan of the Trailblazers. Not a super fans. The final question in this category, Bill Hader. Hader's from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And he loves himself some Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, so let's go to our final category now of the day. Number one draft picks. And our $200 clue. It took this player just five years after he was drafted in 2011 to become an NBA champion. Answer there, the now Celtics star Kyrie Irving. All right, 400. In 2016, this player selected before Kevin Durant admitted, I'll be remembered as the biggest bust in NBA history. The ex-Ohio State Buckeye Greg Oden, our answer there. Speaking of busts, the number one pick from 2013, this player has an astonishing .5 career win shares. I mean, you got, you got to hand it to this player. Greg Oden has nothing on him in terms of underachieving. That is Anthony Bennett, the 2013 number one overall selection. Number one draft picks for 800. A physical beast, this number one pick from 1987, is one of just four players in NBA history to record a quadruple double. The Admiral, David Robinson, who put up 34, 10, 10, and 10 in 1994 what a stat line now let's go to a thousand now every single number one pick from the 1980s made at least one all-star game except this center who averaged 9.5 points per game in his career and that's a tricky one the answer there nervous purvis ellison so that'll do it for our jeopardy round let's go to our final category now and our final category is NBA coaching legends. So I'll give you a moment to make your wagers. Think about this for a sec. Hopefully uh, you've been keeping track of your score or at least the number of questions you got right. If not, no big deal, but uh, yeah, let's, let's do this final question, all right? Here we go. A member of the top 10 wins list in NBA history, this man is the only coach with both an NCAA title and an NBA title. 
All right, just a few seconds to think about this one. Top 10 in terms of wins, coaching wins all time. And he's also got an NCAA ring and an NBA ring. He's pretty old now. And our final category answer, Larry Brown. He won a title with the Kansas Jayhawks in 1988. And he was the head coach of the Detroit Pistons in 2004. All right, I hope you enjoyed this basketball trivia. If you kept track of your score, please leave a comment. Let me know uh, if anything was too easy, if anything was too difficult. I'll definitely be back, though, soon with more basketball trivia, uh, soccer, tennis, everything. We've got a lot of content coming, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, though, if you haven't, to the Snowman Sports Media. And uh, I'll be back soon, so thanks for watching.